friends. Boy, they got enough dirt on them to grow off up. Okay, hey, hey. Where's Mr. B? Putting the car away. Oh, is he still down in the dumps? I'm afraid so. Anyway, he said not to bother leaving the door open. He'd just crawl under it. Well, don't worry, Missy. I got some good news that's going to make him feel a lot better. Oh, I hope so. Hi, Mr. B. Hi, Hazel. What's that pounding? Come on. I got a plumber for you. Remember, I thought it was in my head. <laughs> His name is Joe. He's doing it as a favor to me. Hi, Joe. Glad you could come. My pleasure. <laughs> Boy, what a day. Oh, you'll feel better, Mr. B, when you get a good dinner in you. Oh, because of that inconsiderate, stubborn, knot-headed... <laughs> uh, Joe, how soon can I get hot water? I'd say you have to be in hot water any minute now. <laughs> good. <laughs> Chow be on the table pretty soon, Mr. B. Fine, Hazel, fine. <laughs> oh, forget something, Mr. B? No. Where did you get that plumber? Well, you might say we bumped into each other. <laughs> Where? Well, after I left your office this morning. I see. I lost the heel off my shoe. Uh-huh. So I asked him to stay for dinner. He won't be no bother. He's eating in the kitchen with me. <laughs> Got a place for him in the dining room. But, Mr. B... And you better get out the good silver. But he don't expect nothing fancy. And the wine. But, Mr. B, he, 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 he'd rather eat in the kitchen. He's my guest, not yours. Believe me, Hazel, I wish that were true. Nothing would please me more. <laughs> Best dinner I ever had. Oh, you should be around sometime when I'm really putting on the dog. Don't worry, I will be. When I saw him out there on his hands and knees, I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh, I couldn't believe you either. I thought we'd have to put you to bed with a high fever. <laughs> Mr. Arden, that attorney of yours actually had me seeing a golf ball that wasn't there. Oh, he's a character, George. A kooky, mixed-up character. <laughs> Hazel, Mr. Arden really had you fooled, and I didn't think that could happen. Oh, I was going to let her know sooner who I was, but I was afraid she wouldn't let me stay for dinner. Oh, well, you don't know Hazel. Oh, yes. I know Hazel. Hazel represents all the basic, good, and honest things in life, which most of us are in too much of a hurry to even recognize. <laughs> Mr. B, you gave him too much brandy after dinner. <laughs> no, I mean it. I'm going to take her advice. I'm going to slow down. George, you get that contract in the mail to me. I'm going to stick around a while and see that playground through. I'm going to take a little time off. Why, it's wonderful what a day off can relax you. Well, so long, everybody. <laughs> Bye -bye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Hazel, uh... Uh, Mr. B, you better get to bed. All right, Hazel. Good night. Good night. Good night, Hazel. Good night, Missy. Hi there. <laughs> Why, Joe, um, uh, Mr. Arden, what are you doing back so soon? Hazel, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to have another lesson on how to slow down. Huh? Is it okay if I use your phone? Oh, sure. What happened? Well, I want to take a shortcut across your lawn. I was in a hurry to get to my car. I stepped over a water sprinkler, and, well, I'm afraid I sprained my ankle. <laughs> Dr. Pearman, and hurry! Oh, boy, Joe. <laughs> this is all of us rushing along. Why does he do it? Why do we do it?